Hey everyone, I'm Karthika Nair. Uh, it's code All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021 and I'm currently pursuing MBBS from AIMS New Delhi. So uh, right now I'm here to talk about how to deal with class 11th and 12th physics, particularly NCRT. So uh, one thing is that NCRT and physics. Physics is obviously a big nightmare for all NEET students because we are especially uh, capable of dealing with biology and not that well uh, in dealing with calculations and stuff and particularly I've seen NEET aspirants are scared of calculations and physics is a subject that determines your rank and in the recent years it has been seen that NCRT is playing an important role not only for physics, not only for biology but also for physics and chemistry. So we need to have a rough idea on how to deal with NCRT in case of physics. So let's start. So if you talk about uh, class 11th and 12th physics NCRT, there are a total of four books, two for 11th and two for 12th. So that's a huge lot of stuff. So it is not feasible to read the entire text multiple times as we do with biology. So what can be done, what I had done is I'd read the text one time, like the whole text, all the theory and stuff. And once I had done this, I revised the summary. So the summary of NCRT is pretty concise and includes all the points in short. So all the points that you would practically need for exam is given in very short and concise manner in the summary. And if you are able to go through the summary once or twice, you will be done for the examination. And it has been seen that direct lines have been picked up often from the theory as well as from the summary part. So it is very important that you go through it at least once before your exam. So what I had done is I'd read through the whole text, the entire four books once and summary twice or thrice for every chapter. Additionally, there are some important chapters like modern physics, modern physics plus electrostatics, which are very important, have a high weightage and a lot, a lot of theory questions have been asked from these topics in the recent years and these theory questions have been picked up directly from NCRT line. So it is advised that you should read the entire theory for these topics more than once. Additionally, the summary of NCRT also includes all the formulae, all the, you know, uh, constants like um, whatever constants you have in a uh, particular topic. So if you just go through the summary ones, you are getting an entire revision of the theory, numericals and stuff. And second thing is, um, in the recent years, it has been seen that solved examples which are given in between texts in NCRT are becoming very important because even in NEET 2020 as well as NEET 2021, direct questions like without even changing a single word have been come from solved examples. So it's very important that you solve all the questions in NCRT. You, you, you need not do the big uh, complicated questions in the end uh, of um, exercises, but at least all the MCQs must be done because there is a very high possibility that the MCQs will be taken up as such without any change. So solved examples are important, theory is important and additionally PYQs are very important. PYQs must be done at least for the past 10 years. You'll understand ki theory ke questions kaha se aaye hai and kis topic se aaye hai. Particularly abhi physics mein, like in my, in my year, like 2021, match the following questions aage te, picked up directly from NCRT lines. And there were many questions which could not have been solved unless you had read the text. It's very important to read NCRT even for physics. So the strategy is one time go through the entire text, all the chapters. Second time, revise only important chapters from the text and Henceforth, you have to do the summary multiple times, solve all the MCQs and previous year questions and then you're good to go for NCRT.